you explain the buyers? We heard Neil Drysdale or connections of Neil Drysdale signed the ticket for the $1.4 million hip number 87 by AP Indy. Yeah, it happened really fast this afternoon. I, it was late in the day, and I ran to Sean, Drysdale, and Neil, and they said, you know, we love this AP Indy coat. What do you think? I, I said, I, to me, he was a sales topper. I mean, last year, my client sold the sales topper, the balance baby by AP Indy, and I thought this colt was, you know, very nice colt. And we shortlisted them for the Airmans, and then we talked about it. I said, do you, do you want to spend a million dollars or more? I mean, they don't, they've never bought a horse at auction for that much. The most we've ever paid is a half million. I said, we'll vet him out. I have no problem vetting him out, but he, he will be a million dollars, I think. And they said, well, yeah, you're probably right. Don't vet him out. We'll save the money on the vetting. Well, then I ran into Neil and, and Sean. They said, you know, we're thinking about putting a little group together. Do you think the Airmans would be interested in buying in? I said, I don't know, but I said, I love the idea. Because Neil, Neil told me, he says, I think this is the most... The closest I've seen a colt look like APND since I've been looking at APNDs, and he looks at all of them. Yeah. And why wouldn't you? <laughs> he trained so, him. Yeah, he trained him. So, uh, that was, I mean, I already loved him, so that's good enough for me. So I, I said, listen, so I'll call him right now. I got on the phone, talked to John. John was in the hotel room with Jerry getting ready to come to the sale, and he says, what do you think? And they, were, they had their own little banter going on. Long story short, they said, let's do it. So we, they came out, and uh, I, I actually thought he might go for more money. I really did. I think it was a very fair price on a, on a gorgeous colt by a sire who's not going to be siring too many gorgeous colts in the near future. So now you have a new partnership together. On whole this new horse. partnership. I mean, the airmen's aren't big on partners. They, 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 that's kind of, you know, like a lot of people that can afford to buy their own, they don't need partners. It's, it tends to be an irritation more than a, a positive. But, but to have a chance to throw in roughly 400000 and change or, you know, and, and have a chance of, if this horse wins a grade one, I mean, the syndication price is a stallion's out of this world. So, you know, we've, we've bought plenty of expensive yearlings that either didn't make it to the races or couldn't run much. Uh, I think to take a little gamble on a third of this horse by, you know, trained by Neil Drysdale, I mean, to me, it was a no-brainer. To me, the horse was priceless, really. You get a Hall of Famer that has experience firsthand with, with the sire, who's considered a sire of sires. And absolutely, of absolutely. Horse. He was a gorgeous colt, really yeah, was. A lot of owners um, love to be in on the action and excitement and the headlines of uh, at least this stage of the game, but I'm guessing that the Emmermans don't really mind that they weren't here in the flesh right when this whole thing Oh, they're, they're, they're here in the... Oh, oh I mean, when but I, mean, I talked right, to Neil... Right, and, right. No, they didn't mind. I tell you what, I've... I've been buying the Amherst horses with them for close to 15 years, and we never got a reception like that. I mean, every camera, every person that works for a publication, I mean, they stormed us. It was, it was amazing. I think I know what J-Lo feels like when she goes out in public. <laughs> Sometimes we don't have to ask who's going to train the horses. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's why when Neil asked me, when Neil easy. and Sean approached me, I said, well, who's going to train? Well, we appreciate you. You're going to be busy, I would imagine. Uh, yeah, we, we, uh, we didn't uh, bid on anything tonight. We have a few tomorrow. And we're working hard in the, in the barns uh, for the next few days. All right. Well, enjoy the fun for the evening. It, and it's congratulations been a lot of fun. Thank you very on, uh, much. Appreciate it. Getting that, that priceless horse, Bob Felt, uh, representing the Ammermans, who again uh, were the partnership, part of the partnership that signed the ticket on the, uh, what is right now the sale topper at $1.4 million. Now they have new friends to enjoy the racing with.